Welcome to Wolf Chevrolet. Today we're taking a look at the 2022 Mini 3-door Cooper S. This Mini has a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine and an automatic transmission. Outside the vehicle we have a red and white paint finish. Inside the vehicle we have our 4-passenger seating all on our black leather seating surfaces. In the front of the vehicle we have our heated seats. We also have our full surround view collision detection system, rear park assist, a backup camera, as well as our touchscreen infotainment system and full digital dash. Outside the vehicle we have our alloy wheels as well as a remote liftgate release. Now walking down the side of the vehicle, moving down to the front tire and rim, we have our alloy rim with a mini center cap and our front tires. Moving out, we have white capped mirrors, chrome capped door handles, our white finish on our roof with our dual panel sunroof. Moving all the way around to the back of the vehicle, dual exhaust in the center of the car, mini badging in chrome and our Cooper S badging on the right hand side. Opening up into the back of the vehicle, we have our storage space with a cargo cover. You can fold the second row seating directly from the back and it folds in a 50-50 split. Lastly, to close the vehicle, we have our handles hidden underneath on either side. Moving into the interior of our vehicle. On our door, we have our power locks, chrome finish handle, and we can flip it open from inside. Have power mirrors and power windows, storage and our speaker and the rest of the door. Just inside to the left of the steering wheel, a little bit below it, we have all of our interior and exterior lighting controls. Have our trunk release as well as hood release down on the left hand side. And our heated steering wheel button is on the back of the steering wheel. Driver seats as well as the rest of our seats all finished in this same black leather. Can fold the driver seat down the back and we can gain some access to the back of the vehicle. In the back, we have a 50-50 folding split seat, cup holder in the middle as well as either sides, and then our speakers as well in the back. Have the second pane of our sunroof in the back and the first pane in the front. Now getting into the vehicle and looking above our steering wheel, we have our fully digital display cluster. Can adjust it throughout as well as radio controls. Left hand side we have turn signals, below it we have our cruise settings, as mentioned before that heated steering wheel button is behind and it's just below that controls for the turn signals. Right hand side we have all of our hands free as well as voice recognition and then our controls for radio. Wiper controls are in the back. Moving to our infotainment system in the middle. Above it, we have hazard lights, and this is the controls for our intelligent safety. You can see it's turned on and off based on the bottom. And we have forward collision alert, pedestrian warning, as well as lane departure warning. Outside of that, we have our media, which we can see contains AM, FM, Sirius XM, as well as our other features. Then we have our communications, our map settings for GPS navigation, as well as our destination search. All that is down the side here. We have radio in the main page. Below it, we have band, mode, our volume controls, seek, and then six favorite keys. Below that, we have our dual zone front climate control. You can see we have auto with fan controls in the center, and then our independent controls on either side. Below that, front and rear defrost, as well as AC, max AC, heated passenger seat, and heated driver's seat. Then we have our auto stop start, push to start ignition that we can push up or down on, traction control, as well as sport mode. Below that, we have our power, a 12 volt plug and USB-A. Some storage where we can see our key, as well as our two cup holders on our key. We have locks at the top, as well as unlocks and then a remote trunk release. Shifter is in the center. We have our automatic shifter. We have manual and sport mode as well as drive on it as well. And park is push in at the top. 
This is the controls for that infotainment system that I was using before. So radio, media, nav, communications, and menu. This is to actually adjust the screen and then we have back and options. Center console that we can open up inside for a little bit of extra storage, or we can flip it back and get it out of the way and access our parking brake. Passenger seat folds the same way that the driver's seat does and is also finished in that black leather with a heated option. Moving above the rear view mirror, dome lighting controls are on either side with our dome lighting for the whole vehicle. Then we have our power sunroof setting as well as our SOS and our passenger airbag reminder. Thank you for joining me for this quick video walk around of the 2022 Mini Cooper 3 Door S. If you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe for more daily videos and we hope to see you at Wolf Chevrolet soon.